Good morning. My name is John Michael. I work at Stand With Us, an international education organization. I'm here to speak in favor of the adoption of the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance's working definition of anti-Semitism, also known as IRA. Anti-Semitism is happening today, and its perpetrators are becoming emboldened at a rate unseen in decades. Anti-Semitic incidents reached an all-time high in 2021. This was a 34% increase from 2020, making recent years the highest on record since the Anti-Defamation League began their tracking in 1979. The FBI's crime statistics show that while Jews make up only 2.4% of the U.S., there are recipients around 60 to 63% of religious hate crimes. FBI Director Christopher Wray stated that Jews are getting, quote, hit from all sides. Alarmingly, last year, the state of Washington recorded the highest number of hate crimes in the past 20 years. I was walking to my favorite deli, looking to have lunch with my friend. As we approached, we saw spray painted on the side of the wall, quote, end race-based murders, boycott Israel. My friend and I paused and stared at this and other anti-Semitic graffiti. We thought to ourselves, this is a Jewish deli in Washington that served matzo ball soup schmears and pastrami sandwiches. We didn't even know if they served hummus, let alone had any connection to or opinions about the state of Israel. My friend and I had that sinking feeling. Council members, you know the one, it's the same feeling Chinese American residents felt in New Jersey when their local restaurant was graffitied with rhetoric about the coronavirus. Out of fear, I hid this necklace. Each of the Jewish high school students I educate has a similar story to tell. One told me her classmate said to her, quote, Kanye West is right about you. Another one of my students stepped outside his synagogue to find himself face to face with spray painted swastikas. I'm sad to say this has become common now with the majority of Jews in America saying that they have been the recipient of an anti-Semitic hate crime. You may be wondering, how can this still be happening? Anti-Semitism is called the oldest form of hate for a reason. What makes anti-Semitism persistent is that it mutates like a virus. It mutates and manifests in new ways that are hard for leaders and institutions to identify. Anti-Jewish racism was once focused on the religion of Jews, vilifying them for the aspects of their beliefs and traditions that made them different. Then it focused on the notion of race, demonizing Jews for being inferior to pure white Aryans. Then it focused on economic issues, accusing Jews of being capitalists or communists. It can connect to nationalism, first faulting Jews for being stateless, and later discriminating against Jews for having their own state. And it comes from both the extremist far right and the extremist far left. Now, the IRA definition of anti-Semitism and its 11 examples understands anti-Semitism as the mutating virus that it is. I'm speaking for its adoption because in 2023, we cannot have a 1943 notion of what anti-Semitism is. Our society generally accepts that each community gets to define its own oppression. One gender doesn't get to tell the other what is sexist towards the latter, and one racial group doesn't get to tell another what is racist. Jews have the right to define how they experience anti-Semitism, and it cannot be taken seriously in Snohomish County if the experiences of its primary targets, Jews, are dismissed. IRA, along with its examples, is not a law. It is a guiding tool for how to apply existing rules and law where anti-Semitism may be involved. The definition does not require or prohibit any speech at all. If it did, I would personally be against it. Referencing IRA to confront cases of anti-Semitism does not violate anyone's constitutional rights. Additionally, the IRA definition expressly recognizes that criticism of Israel, similar to criticism leveled at other countries, cannot be regarded as racist or anti-Semitic. However, it does when, uh, however, it does recognize when anti-Semitism is camouflaged as anti-Israel, such as my experience at the deli. Council members, over 40 nations, the Global Imams Council, multiple U.S. states, and as of yesterday, over 1,000 entities have adopted IRA. I implore you to adopt IRA. Our community needs to be properly educated with an accurate definition in order to act correctly. The Holocaust survivor and author Viktor Frankl once stated, man ultimately decides for himself, and in the end, education must be education towards the ability to decide. Council members, please decide in favor and take the first important step to defeating anti-Semitism. Thank you for your time. I move approval of resolution 23-005. Second. Been properly moved and seconded to approve resolution 23-005. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Chair votes aye. With that, the resolution passes five to zero.